Thunder Bunny. No. He <laughs> reigns in mine. Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. Uh, at least they finally got the last name right. Go ahead, little guy. Find LeChuck's hidden treasure chest. Hmm. Maybe he doesn't know what he's looking for. Welcome. Welcome, fellow thief. You are a thief, aren't you? Of course you are. You wouldn't be here if you weren't, am I right? Of course I'm a thief. Excellent. Make yourself at home. Feel free to look around. We have many valuable stolen items here. I keep them around as trophies. Hey, nice. I had a collection of autographed sextants too. Do you have a Vasco de Lama? Ah. <laughs> I'm sure that I do. Wow, what a coincidence! Hey, what's in this thing? That? Oh, that's a secret. Oh, what kind of secret? If I knew that, it wouldn't be a secret. Clay urns. That's weird. I have a nagging urge to smash these. I wouldn't do that, friend. Why not? What do you mean, why not? Because it's rude. Right. Of course. What's the story behind this? I lifted that right out of the pocket of Betsy Bilgewater. Stealing that was easy. Trying to steal a kiss got me a swift kick to the boys. Yikes! How'd you manage to steal this? Funny story, I was running a con on Deadeye Drake, trying to get at his collection of gold cannonballs, when he hauls out this thing and asked if he can have it shipped back home. <laughs> I even charged him 300 pieces of eight to do it. Oh, how that guy survived as a pirate for more than two years is beyond me. Wow. Ooh, shiny. Ooh, scrolls, parchments, and maps. Winslow would be so happy. Peg legs? How did he manage to steal all of these without the wearers noticing? What's the deal with this thing? Ah, that's an old one, friend. They say that toe juice encrusted sock was once worn by LeChuck himself. The thief who stole it claimed he slipped it right off the zombie pirate's oozing undead foot without being noticed. Funny how he showed up here in the afterlife, still clutching the sock in his fist. Wow. You mind if I, uh, steal it? Actually, I'd prefer you just take that one. It's really starting to stink up the place. This is nice. 
Where'd you get this from? Ah, that I stole from Captain Bloodbeard himself, just after his crew mutinied and made him walk the plank. From the crow's nest. Oh. Good luck with the pilfering. I gotta go. Come back soon, friend. Here you go, boy. Get a big whiff of this. I think he's got the scent. Okay, boy. Dig me up a vile-looking treasure chest. Hey, where are you going? Bad dead dog. Franklin, there you are. You're supposed to be finding LeChuck's hidden treasure for me. What are you doing here? Oh, such a cute little dog. Is he yours? Um, no. <coughs> what are you hiding, Caleb? More than meets the eye. So, nothing. Here, I'll talk. What? Why, I never. <coughs> hmm, but you do have the treasure. So I'll ask you, you'll say no, and around we'll go. It's hard to say. Hello. What's on your mind, Tripwood? Do you have LeChuck's treasure? Yes. Just as I thought. No. Wait, what? Uh, but Franklin agrees. You're supposed to say no. Then there's no doubt. But that's your thing. Doubt. Puzzling. Do you still have the spirit photo? You got any money yet? Talk to you later. Sure, why not? I'd like to buy that spirit photo, please. I think my wife will get a kick out of it, once I figure out how to get back to her. How much is it? That should cover it. Enjoy the memories. A photo of my spirit. They say the ethereal camera of the afterlife subtracts 10 pounds. Have a whiff of this thing, Fibby McFarfick Nugan. That's not my ne- Hey! That smells like him! LeChuck's treasure! Way to go, Franklin, you salty dog. Now look, you've sullied the air over there. That's what I smelled right before taking a thump to the head all those years ago. That is one ugly chest. Oh man, it's locked. And I left my hook on my other body. Now how am I going to get it open? Welcome back, friend.
Do you think you can unlock this completely non-valuable treasure chest for me? There's a worthless slip of paper inside that I really need. Um, I'll let you keep the chest in exchange. Sure, friend. In fact, I already unlocked the chest while you were talking. But I'm afraid it's empty. What? See for yourself. Hey, what was that? What was what, friend? You just kicked my spell into that pile! I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. Huh. We'll see about that. I know that thief threw my scroll in here. Somewhere. I know that thief threw my scroll in here. Somewhere. Excuse me. What is it, friend? What happened to your hands? LeChuck happened to them. I guess he still held a grudge from when we stole the summoning turtle from him when he was human. He came back and slaughtered us all. Well, keep up the good work. Oh, I am, friend. I know that thief threw my scroll in here. Somewhere. Excuse me. What is it, friend? What are all these things? Those are the things I have stolen from the poor, unsuspecting pirates passing through. Some real gems there, huh? Uh, I'm sorry. What was that you said? Uh, I didn't say anything. Are you sure? I thought you might have said there was something behind me. There's a three-headed monkey? There is. Well... I'd better turn around and look at it. Why, I don't see anything over here. Okay, boy. Do your thing. Are you sure you meant behind? Maybe if I try squinting. Okay, I'm going to keep looking for just a little bit longer. But then I'm turning around. Why, I don't see anything over here. Are you sure you meant behind me? Maybe if I try squinting. Sorry, boy. If he sees you with the scroll, he'll just take it away again. Okay, Wait till he's showing me out, for just then make a, a break for it. Longer. But then I'm turning around. Why, I don't see anything over here. Are you sure you meant behind me? Yoink. I hate to be a bad host, but I'm afraid you've got to be moving on. Oh, okay then. Till next time, friend. Yep. There you are. Okay, give me the spell. Oh no, what have you done with the spell? Did you bury it here with all the treasure somewhere? Bad, Franklin.
Okay, boy. Do your thing. Back in the code for you, you little spell thief. It's the spell that Chuck used to escape back into the living world. The physical and spiritual realms coexist as do night and day. To journey from one to the other, a pirate must know his way. Search around you and within you to find these things, and at the center of the crossroads, present them in a ring. The journey is confusing. Something must guide your way. And you must have an anchor to ensure that you will stay. What gives you courage to face the dangers to come? and a sacrifice in your name that cannot be undone. It's the spell that Chuck used to escape back into the living world. How goes the treasure hunt? Fantastic! Can you show me how the treasure hunt works? Sure, why not? A pirate can never have too much treasure. Hmm, it's surprisingly light. Great, more tiny parrots. I guess since he got atomized into a million bits, there are going to be a lot of these guys. Splice the main brace! Another bag of gold! I tell you, I'll never get tired of this. Hey, Caleb? Hello? Huh. Looks like he wandered off. Maybe he'll turn up later. Anchors away! Check. Something to find your way. Check. Stay. Good dog. It's the spell that Chuck used to escape back into the living world. One bottle of liquid courage. Check. Okay. All I need is a sacrifice in my name. Where the heck am I supposed to find that?
Hey, you. What's up? I found a spell that will let me return to the land of the living. Really? That's great! How do we use it? First, I need to gather a bunch of ingredients, but I'm having some trouble figuring out what they're supposed to be. Maybe you can help. Maybe. What are the items? Part of the spell requires a sacrifice made to me. That sounds pretty complicated. Maybe you should focus on the other ingredients first. Yeah, good idea. I still need something for sacrifice. Why don't you go use the items you've already found first? I'll try to think of something. Part of the spell requires a sacrifice made to me. A sacrifice? Hmm. I may have an idea or two. Why don't you take care of the rest of the spell first? Okay. Hey, Mo, I still need one more thing for the Crossroads spell. Some kind of sacrifice. I can't find it anywhere. Yeah, I've been thinking about that. I think I have an idea. Come on, I'll show you. Okay, where is this sacrifice? I, I don't see anything. Right here. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Is that... is that a good idea? What? No, no, this is just my reputation. I can easily build that back up again. Well, okay. Are you sure? Right. Thank you. <clears throat> well, don't just stand there. Get on with the spell! Of course, the spell. Wait, I don't know what else I'm... Well, I guess this is it. Seems safe enough. Ladies first. Hey! Huh, that's weird. I can go through no problem. Oh, heck no! I am not getting stuck in this afterlife. So, what are you gonna do? I don't know, you just go on through and take care of your business. I'll figure it out. Okay. Wish me luck. Ah! Why won't this thing open? Elaine, get over here and help me. I've spent months getting those mangy voodoo cursed monkeys into place so I could conjure up the entrance to the crossroads. I won't be thwarted now. Oh, come on. I broke your spirit, not your back. Get over here and push. You know, you didn't have to actually kill him. And why not? Do you know the number of times that bony buccaneer has killed me? Look. I let you catch me, and I played along with your stupid nice guy act because I thought that it would get Guybrush to realize that the voodoo Do lady was- Do not mention that woman in my presence. That cursed voodoo witch will control my fate no more. Now that I have La Esponja Grande, I can use it to suck pure, unlimited voodoo energy directly from the source. I will become the demon pirate god, and you will be my goddess. And this time, there will be no Guybrush Threepwood to spoil our wedding plans. <laughs> what was that? Yes, that's it! Ah! 
Lane? What's going on here? Guybrush? I'll tell you what's going on here. You've lost! I now have full access to the unlimited voodoo power of the crossroads themselves! This is my moment of ultimate triumph! So, ghost of Guybrush Threepwood, would you like to RSVP for the wedding now or later? You won't get away with this, LeChuck. Whatever it is you're doing, I've opened the crossroads themselves to stop you. You opened the crossroads. <laughs> then I suppose I have to thank you for doing my bidding for a second time. Ah. Uh. Why didn't you just get the merfolk to do it? Merfolk? Ugh. To be honest, those fish people creep me out. Besides, manipulating you was much more fun. I was counting on your abilities to bring the sponge to me! So you admit, I am better than you. You are the only living soul that can do that, uh, you know. Boy, was my face red when La Esponja Grande turned out to be so small. But then, you took right care of that, didn't you? <laughs> the voodoo lady the said... voodoo lady? By the way, does anyone know if she has a name? It feels weird just calling her voodoo lady. But I'll be taking care of her soon, too. <laughs> I have infused the Cutlass of Kaflu with demonic power that no mortal can touch. Hmm. This weapon that was designed to destroy me will ultimately set me free when I use it to slay the woman who has locked you and I in this perpetual loop of fate. Isn't that right, Elaine? Yes. And we shall slay her together. Make me your demon bride. What? My demon bride. Kind of gets you all choked up in here, doesn't it? Face it, Threepwood. The Chuck has more power than any pirate could possibly dream of. And besides, you're dead now. Well, so is he. I'm sorry, Guybrush. Wonder Bunny. No! <laughs> Elaine is mine! And yet here you are, ghost of Guybrush Threepwood, trying to interfere with my big moment with Elaine once again. Well, come on and stop me! Give it your best stab! So, sweetheart, where do you think we should hold the ready? I want a fan- Aha! Prepare to meet your- Oh, come on! Problem? Why can't I grab anything? That's just one of the side effects of being a fleshless specter. Good thing you are, though. Just one slice of that re-enchanted blade is enough to destroy anything it touches in this mortal world. But I was gonna use that to save you and kill the Chuck again. It ain't so easy being a ghost now, is it, Mr. Threepwood? Well... That's how I felt all those years ago, when I was a simple ghost pirate roaming the seas. And now, you are about to know how it felt when you ripped my spiritual essence to shreds when you doused me with that ghost-destroying voodoo root beer! Uh, Lady Boo? Let's not be hasty. It felt a lot uh -oh. like this! <laughs> <laughs> Did you defeat LeChuck?
save your wife? Avenge my death? She... she stabbed me. What? Elaine, she's LeChuck's demon bride, and she zapped me with voodoo root beer. Demon bride? She must be under LeChuck's control. Get back in there and save her! No, she's not. She looked me right in the eyes and then chose him. They're going to take over the world together. There's a demonic sword involved. It's over. Well, that's good news. Huh? Now you're free to just curl up and enjoy a sad, pathetic eternity in Pirate Afterlife. Of course, I'm not sure if they're still letting whiny schoolgirls in. You'll have to check. Come on, Morgan. I just lost my wife. So go take her back, Guybrush. Are you a mighty pirate or aren't you? I... Look, I know you're not the most fearsome pirate to sail the Seven Seas, but what I've learned about the Guybrush Threepwood that inspired me for my entire life is that there isn't any situation he can't handle. And the one thing I've admired about you throughout our entire adventure together is that you never gave up on a lane. Maybe if I could find a way to use that cutlass. But if I go back, they'll just zap my ghost again. So get your body back. What, just find my body and repossess it? Wait, that sounds kind of familiar. The voodoo lady's locket. Find the locket, find your body. And then bring the fight to that decrepit sack of sea worms and make LeChuck rue the day he decided to mess with Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. Yes! I still have no clue what rue means. But it sounded great. So, what are you going to do? I'm going to go skewer some more sorry ghosts. Maybe practice my pickpocketing. I don't know. Something. Morgan! Thanks.